we'll start off by layering the MDF up and uh, then we'll put it on the machine and we'll cut it. got our work offset set up now right here and I have the first g-code uh, put in there which is 32 millimeter bit uh, ready to rough out all this material and it's a very thick piece of material and it's not quite the largest size piece of material I can put on this machine but it's pretty close to it so we'll just start it up now and we'll do the first roughing cut Okay, I've started the, um, the first cut now, and what I, in the program, uh, if you look back on the preceding video to this, you'll notice that I asked the machine to machine the zero surface first. In other words, do a skimming cut over the, the, um, the surface of the material, and this is the reason why. You'll notice that I've got half a millimetre here, there's cut in and nothing over here. That's because I have three layers laminated together and you can never get them perfectly even. So I'm skimming now the top with the first cut to, to make it near, near even. And then it'll cut five millimeter down in with the next cut. In previous videos, you will have noticed I've said about the graphics of NC Studio. And they're actually, to me, they are actually um, superior than Mac 3. So I've roughed out now all the material. Um, can't really make out what, what it is other than you know you know that there's a couple of legs down here and there's a head up here somewhere. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the 12 millimeter in and I'm going to run around the outside because when I put the 8 millimeter ball mill in, the, the nut at the chuck is going to come up against the material here. So I'm just going to cut back that material and, and clean all this edge up. Uh, then I'm going to put the 8mm ball mill in to do the 3D cut. 